Welcome to episode number six of the survey to go basic training. My name is David and I'm one of the scripting managers here in Dublo. And today we are essentially going to wrap up our scripting of the uh, demo questionnaire that we've scripted along the episodes. We're going to um, do some negative selection filters, combining filters and piping into answers. And then in our last episode, we're going to just see how everything works on the actual device. So back at our questionnaire, um, in the last episode, we handled question number A4, and we did that with loops. And so today we're going to do A5 all the way down to uh, A9. Now we're going to do that in two phases as usual. The first phase will be just adding the questions and the texts and the answers. And then the next phase would be to take care of the actual uh, logic of the survey. So I'm going to add all of the questions and answers and I'll join you right after that. So we just added all the questions and now it's time to go ahead and start adding logic one by one. So let's look at the scripting instructions. So in A5 we have a randomization of the brand list. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to go over to A5. I'll go to the advanced tab and check the randomize answers box. So that was easy. Um, next up we have uh, which of these brands would you consider buying? Now, um, this is a multiple selection question and we need to only show the brands not checked in A5 and we need to randomize the brand list. So let's go over to A6. We'll just check the randomization box and we're gonna go ahead and script the actual uh, filtering. So this is a negative filtering. So anything that was checked in A5 needs to be not selected or hidden in this question. So we'll still use the filter answer by answers um, function and we'll say we want to filter the current question and uh, we're going to use a different overload. In this case, uh, this one that allows us to say whether we want to hide or show the source index. So I'm going to say false, which means hide the actual indexes and uh, of course we'll say here a5 so this will take care of that because it essentially means to only um, hide in this question the selected answers from a5 which is exactly what we want to do all right moving on to a7 which of the brands that you own consider buying is your favorite now in this case we need to only show the brands um, selected in a5 and a6 and we need to rotate it so it's not a randomization but a rotation so let's take care of that first we're going to go to a7 and we're going to go to the advanced tab check the randomization uh, answers and also check the cyclic with me which means it's going to ro rotate instead of randomize meaning it's going to pick one of the answers and then keep the same order um, of the answers So um, next, we want to take care of the actual filtering, which is uh, only to show A5 and A6. So we're going to go back to our script section. And in our start script, we're going to use the filter answers by answers. But in this case, and we're going to say we want to filter and affect this question. But in this case, we're going to use not the second overload, um, we can use either this one or the next one. We're going to say um, this one, which means um, we're going to say that we want to show. And then in here, instead of just writing a five, I can actually write a list of uh, question IDs. So I'm going to say a five 
and A6. And what that will do, it will only show in A7, the answer selected in both A5 and A6. The true takes care of the showing and the A5 and A6 is a combination of both A5 and A6. Next, we want to take care of A8. So in here, we need to pipe into the question text, the selected brand of A7. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go into A7. And in here, we're gonna use um, our piping syntax, which means I'm gonna to go to the actual question text and I'll replace this part with our special uh, piping uh, option, which is the curly braces zero. And I'm going to pipe instead of the curly braces, I'm going to say set text format of the current question. And I'm going to put in here the selected answer text of uh, A7. So that's going to take care of that. And hopefully at least we're going to check that in a moment. But we also he see here that we need to pipe the um, same brand into the different answers. That's the first answer, second answer, and third answer. So let's take care of that by using the same technique, but now in the actual answers. So in our answers, I'm gonna edit them and I'll replace the brand selected in A7 with curly braces. And I'll do the same for answer number two and for answer number three. All right, so the only thing left now is to do the actual uh, piping and we're gonna use set answer text format, which is the same as set text format, but just for the answers. And I'll say current quest and then answer number one. And I'm gonna use the selected answer text of A7 and I'm gonna copy and paste this three times for our three question, uh, answers. All right, moving on, and we only have A9 left now, and um, this is a simple piping, the same as an A8, so we're gonna do just that. So let's switch over to A9, and we're gonna take, before we switch, we're gonna take the piping, and we'll go to A9, we'll replace the actual uh, text with the curly braces for piping, and we're gonna to go to the scripts and just copy and paste that. And so if everything is correct, we have um, finished our scripting. So let's go ahead and test that. So I'm gonna right click on this, start question in the emulator, and we'll see how it goes. So we have our emulator right here. I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger and make some room so that we can see. And you can see we're already at A5. Uh, because we started the questionnaire here. So do you own any of the following brands? I'll say Volvo, Kia, and Fiat. And the next one is which of these um, would you consider buying? And um, Volvo, Kia, and Ford, or, or sorry, Volvo are not shown here. So that, that part of the script is working. So I'm gonna say Mazda. And then um, next we have which of brands that you own or consider buying is your favorite. And we have all of the selected ones. So Kia, uh, Fiat, and Volvo are the ones from A5. Mazda is the one from A8. And let's choose just one of them. Let's choose Mazda. And now you mentioned Mazda. So our piping is actually working. What is the reason you mentioned it? And then you can see the actual uh, piping to the answers working here. Mazda produces the best quality, etc. Um, so we'll just select one of them and explain in words why is Mazda your favorite. So this piping is all, always also working. Perfect. So we have everything done here and um, that completes our um, questionnaire for scripting. Now the next episode is going to be dedicated to um, showing you how to take the survey into production, meaning not only testing but also 
um, deploying to the actual device for testing. We'll talk about the survey modes for a brief while, and we'll also see how you can use BlueStacks to check this um, on an Android emulator that runs on your actual desktop. So thanks for joining, and I hope to see you in our next episode.